we, it's fair to say we are most of us busier than we've ever been before. In the busy generation, there is even a greeting that you may, I don't know if you, you've heard this one, but I, I'm, I've heard it anyway. The, the greeting, it's very simple. Instead, the old greeting was, how are you? How's things? Are you keeping well? How's the family? The new greeting is simply, are you keeping busy? That's it. Are you keeping busy? And the response to this question, by the way, I think has to be yes. So somebody says, are you keeping busy? And you say, yes, thank you. And then you return the compliment and you say, are you keeping busy? And they say, yes. And that's all that needs to happen. You don't need to ask what you're busy about. And they're not going to ask you what you're busy about. All you've got to do is just simply say, yes. If you say no, are you keeping busy? No this does seem to cause some concern <laughs> and people are worried for you. One of the biggest blocks I think to success, to creativity, to innovation in the world of work is our permanent busyness. I'm, I'm, I'm a fan of busyness but it's the permanent busyness that I think is the great block to real success. And often, if the busyness is really entrenched, part of the entrenchment, if you like, it comes from what I refer to as the guilt culture in the workplace. And this is where we, for some reason, feel guilty if we're not busy. We feel guilty if we're not absolutely flat out on something. And again, I just feel we need to balance that out. And one of the goals of leadership is to create cultures where we discern between permanent busyness, if you like, and useful busyness. Where there is permanent busyness, there will also be what I refer to as competitive busyness. Competitive busyness is a terrible thing, and it seems to affect very good people. People who really do know better, but have temporarily lost sight of this. Uh, and it tends to start a bit like this. Somebody says to somebody else, it's terrible. I get at least 50 emails a day now. Somebody else says something like, that's nothing. <laughs> I don't get 70, I get 75 emails. And now a bidding war <laughs> uh, emerges and eventually somebody you know, gets to 100 or beyond and they are the winner in this conversation. The person who's only getting 50 emails a day is feeling like a loser. <laughs> the busyness is a big thing. And um, with success intelligence, one of the mantras is that leaders are not paid just to be busy. They're paid to think. And um, my experience within uh, business, within leadership, within HR now, is that we have to be almost like thinking partners to each other. We have to have this discipline, and I would even say the courage, to often go against the, the flow, against the busyness, against that manic experience, and be able to stop and, and think about what most needs to be thought about. And this is what I love. This is why I look at this stuff. This is a great question. What good things could happen if I was less busy? That conversation right there, for me, that's the one that can take us as a team, as an organization, to another level. Mm -hmm.